Hello there, beautiful viewers. I'm on my 14th day of my liquid fast. I haven't had solid food in about two weeks now, and I have to say I am having a wonderful amount of energy. And I really recommend it to anybody who, who wants to go on a deep detox from processed food or junk food, or who wants to go deeper within spiritually, or who even just wants to just see what it's like to give the digestion system a break since you know, all our life we've been taught to eat, eat, eat and not just take a break of eating and, and having a liquid holiday. It's just that, giving your stomach a break. So I've been focused on smoothies this whole time and today I thought I'm going to make you a soup. So we're so conditioned to think soup has to be hot, but I'm going to make you a raw vegan soup, which is basically... It is a smoothie, but it's a savory smoothie, and I would like to make a savory smoothie for you because then you get to a chance to use different vegetables that you wouldn't normally put in your smoothie, and you get the same effect of a soup except it's not warm. You can heat it up if you like, but the raw vegan movement believes that if you cook the food, you're killing the enzymes, which means you're not getting the full nutrition of the food. So when you eat the food or drink the food in its natural state, you're getting all the nutrition from it. And all that nutrition is building up your body and your immune system. And we're in this time right now where our immune system is crucial to being healthy, to feeling alive, to having peace of mind, to be able to handle stress. You need a very good, healthy system. And being able to maintain stress as well. So I have a couple of, of ingredients here, a little bit more than a couple, but I want to get going and show you. So I opened the coconut. I didn't want to show you the process of opening the coconut. I'll do it in another video, but this is one whole coconut, the water. I'm putting it in. And I have some extra water as well, some aquiline water, which I'll talk about in a moment. And I'm adding the coconut meat from the coconut. And I'm going to add the greens, which, as you know, I'm, I'm really a fan of my greens because I believe that it's not only the roughage, but it's all the nutrients that we need to be healthy, to feel healthy, to feel alive. I'm adding a half a cucumber, which is very hydrating. So the purpose of soups is basically, raw vegan soups, is to have something that's very easy for the system to digest and as it's easy to digest it's also easy to have the bowels running easy the the stools come very easy no constipation but also you're getting all the nutrition so when you're drinking your soup or your smoothie however you want to call it don't forget to masticate well to chew the soup so that way you're build, you're breaking it down into liquid so it's very easy for your system to break down. I'm going to add fennel today. That's a new vegetable that I haven't included. It has a lot of vitamin C. It's very good for the eyes, very good for the digestion system. Fennel. We have celery, which as you know, so many people are crazy about celery juice. So low in calories, very good for weight loss. Fantastic. We have capsicum, which again is good for the eyes, good for weight loss, and is antiviral. So much is good with capsicum. I'm almost getting full here. Have a little bit of onions. Might have to push it down. Some onions. put a zucchini. I know I should have tried to cut that one. A zucchini. You know what? I might try to just get a knife and cut it a little bit. So, so yes, I'm very excited to make a savory smoothie. So I'm going to go with some zucchini, some carrot, Chopping it normal, chop it small if your blender is not so strong, if it doesn't have that good a, 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 an engine. And we're going to blend it twice, 
So I actually included some Aquilite water today. So the purpose of the soup is to basically really hydrate you. A lot of people are dehydrated in this day and age. So when you have the smoothies and when you have the soup, you have a chance to be getting all that nutrition and all that water going through your system. And that's boosting the immune system. That's having the T cells get the magnesium and all the minerals that we need. Here's round one. is that you can use your fruits and vegetables that you think oh it's going off no you can blend it and there you're getting the nutrition without cooking out without destroying the enzymes I'm adding orange to get a little bit of tangy zest we're going to add ginger garlic about two or three cloves and I'm going to leave this up to you how spicy you like it. Spice is very good to heat up the system. So I'm going to put one chili. I'm going to put some turmeric. Turmeric. I don't know if you can see that. Turmeric. Turmeric is the superfood of all spices, I would say. It's 5,000 years old. It's been known to be used in the Ayurvedic tradition. So everybody who has been practicing yoga, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of this the Ayurvedic system and so this is antiviral, this is antimicrobial, this is so good to help reduce cancer for people who want to you know work on their blood sugar levels, for people with diabetes, for people with joint pain or fibromyalgia, it's anti-inflammatory. The list goes on of what turmeric can do so try to include it in your diet and it has a compound called curcumin, I hope I say it right. And in order to activate that compound, you need to have black pepper. So together they go hand in hand like a synthesis. So I'm adding just a little pinch of curcumin. <laughs> I'm excited to make you something unique. And black pepper. I'm adding the three dates for a little bit of sweetener. And I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar you can see that so it's gonna make a little bit citrusy tangy taste not that much about a spoon I love this sea kelp delight so there's no salt in this so if any of you are worried about your salt intake this is wonderful no salt just sea kelp a little dash Half a lemon and we're going to add some sunflower seeds to just add a little bit of crunch and I think that will be it and let's blend. Got to be careful, I, I made a little bit too much, start low.
but I'm also using this water called Aquilife. This is from a friend that I have here in Mornington Peninsula, which is in Victoria, in Melbourne. And this water has so many minerals. It has 23 out of the 24 minerals in it. So this is really like the extra virgin olive oil of waters. It's unbelievable. And you know, right now our health is so crucial. Our immune system is so crucial. And that's why the smoothies with all the fruits and vegetables are building your immune system. Even if you eat meat or you're still eating cooked food, they're wonderful to include in your diet. But this beautiful water, this Aquilive water, has 92 grams per liter of magnesium, which magnesium is very important to, to help the T cells break the viruses, to fight off the viruses. So if you're ever interested, I'll, I'll leave the link down below to get in contact with my friend Olaf, who this water is just amazing. It's been the best water I've ever had. Like I said, the last video, I fasted 35 days once on water on, on quite a spiritual journey. I wanted to detox. I wanted to change my life. I wanted to just see what was, what was possible with the human potential. You know, people think, oh, you can't live without food. And I was, and I believed, yes, I can. And the saints and mystics have done it for eons, and Jesus did 40 days, and Socrates. And I was drinking Olaf's water, and I have to say, it was quite a magical experience, and I felt really satiated with his water, if you can imagine being satiated when you're fasting. But anyway, I just want to show you what my beautiful raw vegan soup that has the coconut water and the coconut meat to make it almost like a Thai tomka coconut soup is like and you know you can shred vegetables or cut vegetables if you want only because I'm still not really eating and I'm not doing that but I can show you see I put it in a bowl and this has so much water content to it that you can just imagine if you're someone who hasn't had a good diet, who wants to lose weight, is having heart problems, is struggling with diabetes, is struggling with depression, has fibromyalgia or joint pain, these smoothies, these juices and this soup can save your life, can repair your, cell, your cells from the inside out. It is possible to heal yourself without Western medicine, you can take the power back. Food is medicine, turmeric is the oldest herb almost on earth and has so many qualities. And all the fruits and vegetables are really superfoods. And if you consume them raw without cooking, you will feel the power, you'll feel the energy. And I just can't rave about it more than, than that. And I just hope you include more smoothies and maybe even my soup into your diet and and experience the magic for yourself please subscribe to my channel if you like what i said and i appreciate all the comments you're welcome to email me vegan latina baby at gmail.com and if you have any ideas god bless you and thank you bye bye